Hi guys, uh, welcome to Pokey One and this guy, which you just saw, if you're watching these episodes back to back, that is, this guy wants to pick a fight. We're gonna give him one, so let's see what he wants. Choose, let's do battle or no battle. Of course, we're gonna battle this guy. Uh, unfortunately, our team is like out for the count, count after uh, the Misty fight. Uh, I wanna try using something here but i'm not seeing anything that will help us so i'm guessing we're putting uh, gyarados in front uh, and we'll see how it goes uh, apart from doing this and this episode this trainer fight i mean uh, we are also going to head to vermilion city finally if you didn't watch the last episode i suggest you do it right away and come straight back uh, the last episodes may, not episodes, episode, may have been the most satisfying yet. We got so much stuff done, uh, well, not a lot, but we got all the stuff done that we wanted. Uh, and we were, were just floating on clouds now. We're feeling happy-go-lucky and all that. Spike cannon, dude. Just stop hurting my Gyarados, would you? Freaking suggestive looking clam. Just stop it. Just stop it. Yeah, I think we got this fight in the bag. So what he what the trainer was saying uh, in this fight, and I just totally forgot to put on the sound. There we go. Okay, I got it. You what? Got what? How I beat Misty? Okay, well, good for you. Uh, what I was trying to say was that... What, what was I trying to say? Yeah, he gave us a choice. Uh, and before the choice you saw, he said, either you fight me now or you never fight me. He basically wanted to prove if we were, in fact, good enough to beat Misty like we just did. Uh, being a douchebag and not believing our badge on our person. Uh, I mean, let's, let's just look at this. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Times fainted. Eight. Well, that seems about right. Pokemon caught nine. Okay. So, yes, I would love it if you would heal my Pokemon, Nurse Joy, so we can get a move on. Continue on to uh, bigger, better adventures. I also, in the ending of the last episode, promised you guys a surprise. I'm going to hold on that to the ending of this episode. Yeah, so I'll make sure you guys stick to the end. Ah, you see what I did there? I'm sorry about that. But I, I've seen that a lot of you are not watching the full episodes uh, and it's fine. But just to make sure you do, I might pull one of these once in a while. Uh, let's, I, I'm, I'm not even sure about the Path to Vermilion City. I have a, like a like a vague idea. I think we gotta go up and around and go through the house, which may or may not have been broken into. Uh, after that, I think we head on east, right? Or is it southeast? I can't remember. But we'll get there when we get there, and uh, hopefully we get a bunch of good trainer battles in before that. I'm gonna put Kadabra in front. Not because I love him the most, it's quite the opposite. It's because he needs the most love, because he's the weakest right now. Yup, we're directing hate. Well, not hate per se, but yeah, he's not our favorite, let's say that. Uh, Officer Elijah. What? I won't say it's too dangerous for you, but yes, it's too dangerous. Dude, you said you wouldn't say it. Let's go, Kadabra. Elijah, as in Elijah Wood, as in Frodo. So, Frodo, you suck. I hate you. I'm gonna go call my mama. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Vaporeon, you got something for me? Ew, 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 ew. Oh, oh, we just saw a Vaporeon. Well, that's obvious to everyone, but yeah, that happened. Hunting Pokemon is fun. 
I will be remembered for catching all of them. Dude. Dude. Dude, don't even make jokes like that. There are people working really hard on YouTube doing uh, Professor Oak's challenge and whatnot. Now that, that shit's legit. Like, that's a serious amount of hours put into and a lot of respect worth. Like, the hat off to you guys. I've been watching a few of those. It's it's pretty pretty crazy. There's also people doing like a lot of other weird challenges, uh, Pokemon related challenges. So let's stay on topic. Um, beating like the whole uh, game with only Ashes Pokemon. Uh, if you don't know which Pokemon Ash, oh, I should probably have paid attention here. But, uh, okay. If you don't know what Pokemon Ash used, uh, it's not great Pokemon. It's not the worst either. It's just a, a weird Hosquatch team. Well, uh, the police officers in this game are very controlling, I must say. Like, they're everywhere, doing nothing but talking to people, telling them that it's okay to stay in another city for as long as I want. Like, it's not like I'm jumping countries, dude. Just chill. No, I have a Nidoking. Uh, and I also have a female Nidoran, so... Yeah. Uh, probably would have wanted to do that, just to get, like, the traded bonus XP thing going, if I wanted a female Nidoran. But I kind of don't. I, If I did, I have one. That's kind of how I feel about it. So, I mean, let's just leave the guy to his own business. Let's get a move on. Probably some hidden items in the tunnel. I don't care. Or I should care. Turning from A to B, from B back to A, and then to C. So he's busy. Glad we had this underground path. Okay. Uh, okay. Good on you, Brick. What was that? Discovered, okay. So, we got a bunch of bug catchers and other types of trainers here. First, I wanna pick up these uh, berries because we, we, we're like always super low on healing items. It's just our thing now, I think. The unprepared trainer, that's us. Not us, I'm, I should pull you guys over the same ledge as me, but yeah, that's me. The unprepared, underleveled, crappy team composing trainer. That's me. It's kind of been become my mantra, I think. Like I'm, I'm the worst Pokemon trainer in the world, apart from Ash, who obviously is a lot worse. Because he's not training his own Pokemon, he's just leaving them here and there. Thinking they'll train themselves. Looking at you, Ash, for Pidgeotto and Charizard. Never gonna forgive you. Worst trainer. Let's see what this guy's got. My bet is on bugs. Oh! Told ya. They're poison types, so it's, uh, yeah, super effective. Yeah, that's, that's what we want to see. Kadabra, get some good levels in. Please. We need you to get stronger. I think, is it the fifth or sixth, sixth gym? Which has poison types. I think it's the like the sixth gym. In that gym, Kadabra is gonna be our, our best bro. Because uh, poison types and poison don't really poison types and poison. Psychic types and poison doesn't really mix. Because if you have a strong psyche, you could Lock out the poison. I don't. I don't know the reasoning behind that, but something like that. Uh, you guys see any pokeballs? There's a cut down tree here. Let's see if, if we get something cool. A drowsy. Never liked drowsy as a Pokemon. I don't like it. I don't care that it exists. I'm just never gonna use it because I don't like it. 
I want like a cool psychic type, I'll go for nine times out of ten. Like if we're not talking legendaries, just regular Pokemon, uh, Alakazam. I'm, I'm, I, I started playing Pokemon during red, blue, and yellow, and uh, I also played a bunch of uh, the silver, gold, crystal games. So I like. The first two generations have like a special spot in my heart. Uh, if you like the later generations, then that's fine. I don't mind them. Uh, I just, yeah, I prefer the the two first generations. So back to the topic: psychic types. Alakazam. Uh, what else is there? What? Oh, this is trainer. I almost like got something stuck in my tro throat thinking it was a wild squirrel I panicked but it's fine I got my shit together now All right, so we're gonna beat him up we're done he's done uh, what was I saying psychic types Alakazam uh, who else is there I mean I kind of like Gardevoir even though it's not from the two first generations I mean it's one of those Pokemon that's uh, I don't know it's, it's kind of a kind of a uh, one of the better ones that came in later, you know. I don't mind it. To say that. Um, who else? Confusion might not work. It does. It's fine. Um, I went totally blank, guys. I can't remember or think of any more psychic types. I'm sorry. If you had like your favorite psychic type in mind, tell me about it. It might trigger my memory, so I won't. I want help. Tell me in the comments. Um, God, who is who is there? Like, I mean, you got the giraffe rig, but I don't like that one. It's just weird looking horse giraffe mixture. I don't like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So Alakazam <laughs> is my choice for psychic types. But uh, I might not be the only one on that. He's a pretty cool dude. He's got a mega evolution and stuff. So why not, right? Uh oh, a double fight. Hells to the year. So first things first, we got to take out that dude's Pikachu. Why would I want the ability to attack my own Pokemon? That's just the worst. Right, so, uh, Pikachu. Why, you you ask? Well, because that Pikachu is probably going to try to fuck up my Gyarados, and that's just not happening. So, he bites the dust. We're not scared of a Rattata. It's fine. A Clefairy? Alright, it's fine too. I'm a bit more scared about the Clefairy than I am of a Rattata. However, I don't have any good moves against the Clefairy. Actually, we might pop a tackle on it. There we go. 53! Holy smokes. We got a bunch of Pokemon, though. And so do we. Right, Electro Ball it up. Rattata. And you're gonna... I guess stick with the wounded Rattata. There we go. I don't. I like. Is it Rattata or Rattata? You know. Like looking at the spelling, it might be Rattata, but it doesn't sound right to me. Because I've always said Radata. Alright, oh, guys, help me out here. But we got him. My waifu. No! Dude, you should take better care of your waifu. If she's half as dependable as my waifu, then uh, you better start collecting them gold stars and bonus points for whenever you want to go gaming. Or start a YouTube channel. You know what I mean? 
because then you can start collecting. You know what I'm, what I'm saying? Collect that, that free time. Mm -hmm. uh, enough of that. Uh, let's let's see what else there is to find in the tall grace around here. Uh, might not be the best matchup for Pikachu, but he doesn't mind because he's become a beast. Uh, let's jump to Gyarados. I think he needs some more and or better attacks. Uh, we did we get water pulse from Misty? Scald. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, use your shoots, but no. But is it... Oh, yeah, it's one of those. Okay. Can we teach it to... What? No. I, I was about to say, like, what? No. Like, is he the only one? I think he is. The reason I'm like I'm I'm asking and just trying randomly is because they've changed up not in Poke One particularly only, but like in every game or every generation they they changed so many things in Pokemon that I get I get confused and start forgetting stuff and then I can't remember the original stuff I knew either. So yeah, it's a thing. I'm just checking for hidden items because we wouldn't mind a couple of rare candies if you know what I'm saying. Camper Jeff. Alright, Jeff, let's see what you got. So we got a new kick ass water move. A water, a water attack that might leave them with a burn. Let's try it. It's got a decent damage on it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so Gyarados might be have. Uh, might be have? What? Might have a bad time against uh, the upcoming gym battle. Because they're electric types. And not horrible, crappy electric types like our Pikachu we know and. Uh, or sometimes love. Uh, they're actually, like, good, kick ass, strong electric types which kind of has me worried about our Gyarados well-being and the only Pokemon we have to swap them out for are Noctowl and uh, a female Nidoran which neither will work because female Nidoran is uh, well weak and low leveled and uh, Noctowl is a bird so yeah it's bad but we'll work it out, hopefully. We won't even have to use Gyarados for the fight. We can uh, depend on uh, basically every other Pokemon except for him. Ideally, that's what we want. But you know me. You know my game series. Something always goes wrong. And then we die horribly and spend the next five episodes grinding our asses off. So like I'm so annoyed that I didn't like maybe maybe Kadabra didn't have disable right maybe I don't know probably had it but I just didn't notice it or think of it maybe it didn't though maybe it didn't <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> trying to stay cheerful and positive about I'm about missing such a crucial tactic like that that's like one on one if you got a problem with a move then just disable the move if you have disabled which I did and didn't pay attention to or notice at all but it's fine and you might be thinking Roras why are you grinding in the grass just go to the gym I don't even know man like I get stuck in these like trains of thought I can't even talk like train of thoughts uh, like thought processes and I just I had to I have to play it out in my head first discuss it with you guys in order to like mentally do the next thing otherwise i'm just gonna be stuck on that thought for the rest of the episode and it's gonna bug the hell out of me uh, like risk and injury 
Wait, did you just... Did you just say you want me to get injured? Or did I get that wrong? Dora. Yeah, I've seen your show. I don't like it. And before, my channel got a couple of uh, subscribers and... Uh, now closing in on 700 views on all the episodes slash videos I make together. Dora was the number one hit when you search for Roras. So we got beef, lady. We got beef. That Dora may not have been you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the same boat as that Dora because I can. Because this is my channel. So I don't like you, Dora. And your comment right there did not help your case with me. I'm not doing shit for you, so get lost. Now, we're in Vermilion City, finally. Thank God, it's been a long time coming, right? So, here, we should probably explore all the houses um, and uh, hopefully get like a fishing rod if we get one of those we could uh, fish up some cool Pokemon hopefully uh, there's a bunch of Pokemon I want uh, from water among the water types like Tentacruel is a Pokemon I love uh, to death but never use so we might might do something about that uh, I'm not sure uh, also there's like I don't, I don't think you can fish up a Lapras, but if you could, I, I'd, I want a Lapras so badly. There's a fishing rod right here, so I got my hopes up. Let's go check it out. Doug, you gonna give me a fishing rod? Ernest is the best fisherman in town. You can find him outside the pier. But dude, you had a fishing rod just outside the door. You don't look like you're, you're not looking like you're using it. Can I have it? Just give it, give it, give it. Holly, fishermen don't like being discussed. Fisherman quote. Uh, there are books around, take a look. Okay, so can I like steal one of your books? Fishing Pokemon for beginners. Good things come to those who bait. All right, help me remember that guys. We're going to be needing it in the next episode. So, I promised you guys uh, a something, a little something, something. A special, a special, uh, I don't even know what I said when I promised it. But, here it is. So, since I promised you guys, uh, not just in the last episode, but before, that I'm going to do something special for all of you. For uh, giving the channel so much support. And all the views, like last special we did, we had 300 views. Now we've almost got 700. And I actually thought to myself, like, okay, when we when we hit 500 views, yeah, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. When we hit 500, five, play, 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 500 views, I was uh, gonna make something special for you guys. But the views since then has been racking in so hard hard so quickly that I didn't even have enough time to think up the special before we hit 600 and I thought to myself okay well 600 is better because it's double the last one uh, and all those thought process things went through my head then it hit me so the special we're gonna be making is not just one not just two not just three four or five or six we're gonna make seven different games with a two episode special seven games that's an entire week on this channel if you don't know this channel i make two videos every day uh, so for the next week and that's from monday to sunday we're gonna be making one game a day two episodes if you have any suggestions for games please write about it in the comments uh, if not, I have plenty of games that I want to and will show you anyway, but it might not be a part of the special, uh, which is fine. But yeah, hit me up in the comments what 
games you want to see. We'll make uh, a separate playlist on YouTube for them. Like the thank you, gratefulness week, something. I'll, I'll come up with a better name than that, but something good. Uh, but write about it in the comments. Uh, we'll make seven games, two episodes per game. So 14 videos is what I'm making for you guys, for all the support, for all the love, for all the people following me uh, on Instagram and supporting the channel, for all the people who may or may not look at what I'm tweeting on Twitter, for all the people watching the streams uh, live and uh, afterwards, like when I when they're just up on Twitch, you can watch them whenever. Uh, for all of you guys, for every last one of you, I'm gonna make all those games happen for one week. Uh, and that's just, like, I, I know maybe, uh, well, I, I don't know, but for all you who think or feel like, oh, but dude, you're gonna have to wait another week for the Poke one or whatever, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Like, we're gonna have one week of just being grateful me being grateful to you after that you'll have your pokey one you have your subnautica just as uh, just as you always do uh, so yeah one week of specials just for you guys that's that's the announcement i wanted to make uh, i'm gonna leave you with that thought process i hope you guys liked it if you totally hate this idea please write that as well uh, and if like i said if you have suggestions for games uh, write to me in the comment section I read every comment I get uh, so don't you don't have to be worried that I'm not gonna find your comment or whatever I, I read every single comment so no worries and with all that out of the way here's our kick-ass outro from uh, Adrostia I think he pronounces it so if you like this episode and like the content I make on this channel, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. It makes sure you always stay up to date on my uploads, on my videos. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, all of my channels. Uh, I record twice a day, every day. Well, I don't record it, but you get new videos twice a day, every day, and I'm gonna keep that pace up for as long as I'm able. Uh, but keep in mind, I got two kids and a, a lady here at home that needs attention as well, but for as long as I can, I'm gonna keep that up just for you guys. So uh, thank you for the support, thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it, you know what to do if you did. If you didn't like it, that's fine. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye.